Hello my friends, so you'd like to save and apply audio presets into Visual Resolve 17? Well, I'm going to show you how to do just that right now. So without further ado, let us indulge my friend. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve 17, a welcome, a welcome. And right now I'm going to show you how to save audio presets and apply them in DaVinci Resolve. So what you need to do is navigate from the edit to the Fairlight audio page because you cannot do this in the edit page currently. I know there's going to be an update very soon and they may include this, but right now you have to be in the Fairlight audio page. So navigate to the Fairlight audio page and make sure you have done all of your adjustments or EQ your dynamics. If you don't know what audio adjustments to do, I have a link in the description to another video where I go through each and every parameter I use to get sensational sound and audio. But once you have applied all of your effects, how to save them is as follows. Navigate to the top, click Fairlight, go to preset library and you'll be presented with this. Next, click onto the audio track which has all of your effects. As you can see right now, my audio track one has my EQ, my dynamics and my effects. So what I'm going to do is click onto my audio track one. I'm then going to press save new, create new, and I'm going to create a preset name. I'm going to call this tutorial, right? Then I'm going to press OK. Now we have our preset for our equalizer saved. So if I go to a different channel, say, for example, audio two, which currently has no equalizer on it. All I need to do is click onto the channel that I want to apply the preset to, which is audio two. Go towards my preset I just saved and press apply. And as you can see right here, it's applied the preset. You might need to do this for most of the different parameters of your track. So say for example, my dynamics. I've got dynamics in my track one. I want to apply it to track two. So I will go to audio one, which has my dynamics applied. I'll press save new to create a preset. Create to new. I'll call this tut for tutorial. Press OK. Then go to audio two. Hover over the preset I just saved and press apply. And as you can see, our dynamics has updated on our track two. So this is actually the first way of how to create and save presets within DaVinci Resolve 17. But if you actually apply effects in a different way, so instead of using the mix of parameters on the right hand side and doing it this way, you can actually go to the effects library and actually apply effects on a per clip basis and not per track. Hey, it's me from the future here. I'm actually editing this video right now. You can actually do this version of the effect in the edit page or the cut page. You can actually do what I'm about to show you on the edit page or the cut page, unlike the first version I've shown you, which can only be done on the Fairlight page. Okay, back to the tutorial. So say for example, I have this audio sample here, the zero clue what I'm gonna be saying, how I'm going to explain this, and I want to add a delay. I can drag the audio delay onto this clip and it's automatically added a delay for me. Or if it's even gonna, gonna sound, sound great, great but here we go. And it's added it onto the actual clip. And the reason I can tell this is because if I go to my inspector and clip on my audio clip, right here under effects, we have delay. So you can actually apply effects and EQ on a per clip basis. And if you do this, it's actually possible to copy the attributes of one clip onto a different clip. So say for example, we have this clip here, which I recorded and it has my delay onto it. It's even, even gonna, gonna sound, sound great, great, but here we go. And we want to apply it to this clip here, which does not have the echo applied. I go quiet in between. What I'm going to do is go to the clip, which has all of the effects applied onto it. So this clip here, I'm going to right click, I'm gonna go to copy. Then I'm going to go to the clips which I want to apply the effects to, click onto it, right click and go to paste attributes. Right here you'll be presented with this option which tells you what of the audio attributes would you like to copy across. If you want to copy across any volume changes, any additions to plugins or equalizer, you can apply it. So I'm going to press plugins and equalize and press apply. And as you can see right here, this updates with the effect sign. If I press play, we should now have the delay and echo that we applied to our first clip. Things called a noise gate. Absolutely, Absolutely sensational. sensational. That, my friends, is how you can apply, save, and also copy across audio effects of individuals of 17. Now, if you like this video, please, my friends, let me know in the comments below and subscribe. I shall see you on the next video. Peace.